In 2026, the biggest paychecks won't go to people with fancy degrees or fancy titles. It will go to people who are actually good at their job and know how to work with AI. A latest study found that workers with AI skills are earning over 50% more on average. But here's the thing. Only 1% companies say they have reached AI maturity, even though nearly every company is investing in it. So this is what it means for you. There is a gap and that gap is your opportunity. So in this video, I am breaking down the five AI skills of the future that will make you irreplaceable in 2026 and beyond and make you the top 1%. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into it. The number one skill is the AI workflow automation. Now automation isn't new. We have always written scripts and pipelines, but what makes AI workflow automation different is that it doesn't just move around data, it adds judgment into the loop. Don't get it? Let me explain. Let's say you are peer reviewing code for your junior teammates. Imagine every pull request that you're getting automatically is getting an AI reviewer first. It scans the diff, flags risky changes, suggests missing tests, and even drafts documentation updates. So by the time a human reviewer you get to it, you are starting from a focus summary, not a blank slate. This basically means that you have created an AI workflow in your code review process. But here's the key. Don't just automate for the sake of it. Think like a PM. Start with the problem, the user and the impact, then decide where AI fits. That actually help you streamline your day-to-day -day work. This matters because it raises the baseline quality of work across the team. It reduces error, enforces consistency and frees people to do higher level thinking. And in 2026, that's the kind of impact that will set you apart. So I want you to go back and think about your day-to-day -day work, whether you are working as a software engineer, data scientist, data analyst, product manager, or whatnot. Think like a PM and think where an AI integration and automated AI workflow could help you streamline your work and help you get to that next level of productivity so you can actually use your time for more important things that you're currently not able to do. Skill number two is prompt engineering. A few years ago, people predicted that prompt engineer would be the hottest new job family with the AI boom. Fast forward to now, you won't find any of those job posting. Why? Because prompt engineering isn't a standalone career path. It's a skill that is currently in high demand and will continue to be part of every single job family, regardless of which role you are in, because AI is going to be integrated into every part of the job. It is why this skill is critical in 2026. Using AI will be the baseline. Everyone will do it, but the people who can direct AI with precision will produce sharper insights, faster outputs, and higher quality work. That's the difference between being replaceable and being the person companies can rely on. So how do you actually know that you're writing good prompts? It is the mistake that most people still make. They type something simple into ChatGPT, hit enter, and then complain the results are generic. And of course they are. Bad prompts lead to bad results. Prompt engineering is about going deeper giving AI the role, context, and structure so it delivers something you can actually use. Let me show you. Here is a generic prompt. Summarize this report. Now, here is the same request using the ROSES framework. R stands for role. You are senior data analyst. Objective, summarize the report. Scenario, the summary is for an executive who has only two minutes to read. Expected solution, keep it under 100 words use bullet points and highlight business impact. Steps, provide the key findings first, then the implications. This is the same exact task, but the second version is clear, structured, and produces output that's actually useful. And if you want to really develop your prompt engineering skills, I've got free resource for you. This advanced ChatGPT prompt engineering guide by HubSpot, which takes prompting to the next level. This guide expands on roses. This is a framework that I used earlier, and it shows you how to apply it across engineering, business, content creation, and more. It even breaks down what token actually means in AI and how understanding them can change the way you design your prompts and strategies. The guide is free to download thanks to HubSpot and I'm linking it in the description below. And if you're finding the content helpful in this video, give this video a like so more people can see it. And if you want more practical AI breakdowns, make sure to hit subscribe. Skill number three is AI powered data analysis. Now this skill is important for every role in tech, whether you are a data analyst or you are a PM. Data is important for every decision that is made 
whether that is at a product level or at a business level. So regardless of which role you are in, having an understanding of how data works and to be able to use AI to build quick reports so you can make quick decisions without relying on your data analysts for simple ask is going to be a game changer. This means that you don't have to wait days on analysts for simple report. AI changes that by making reporting and basic analysis self-service for any role. For example, you can drop a sales CSV file into AI tools and ask what's the revenue trend over the last six months. Show me a chart and call out anomalies. In seconds, you have a clean chart and a short narrative you can pass straight into a deck. This is just a very simple example that I shared, but there are many tools out there that are targeted toward simple to very advanced data analysis. The reason I'm focusing on simple data analysis in this case here is this is targeted toward not data scientists, not machine learning engineer, not advanced data analysts. It's targeted toward every single job family so you can make simple reporting and data analysis work self-service using AI. And that is a skill of the future that is going to be in demand by every role. All right, moving on to skill number four, and this is going to surprise you. Skill number four is that you're actually good at your job. Yes, there I said it. Here is the thing that nobody says out loud. AI doesn't make up for weak fundamentals. You still need to be good at your job. AI is going to be only as good as you are. Previously, we talked about prompts, like good prompts mean good results, but it also means like how good you are at your job. The better you are at your, at your job, the better you are going to be at using AI, whether it comes to validating what AI is spitting out or just asking it the right questions. If you're an engineer, you need to understand clean architecture. If you're in finance, you need to know how to balance sheet work. If you're a marketer, you need to know what actually drives campaigns. And the, here's the thing, oftentimes when I'm using ChatGPT or you're using ChatGPT, sometimes it will state false statements, like things that are not facts, things that are false, in a way that is like so persuasive. When AI spits out answers, the only way to know if it's useful is if you understand the domain yourself and you're good at your job. Which brings me to the skill number five, critical thinking and responsible AI usage. In case you haven't noticed so far, AI is persuasive. It can make even shaky answers sound like the truth. That's why critical thinking is more important than ever before. Say an AI tool predicts a 20% sales jump next quarter. Critical thinking means asking what assumptions are behind this, what data is missing, does this align with what we already know? And it's not just about accuracy, it's about responsibility. Knowing what data is safe to use, when human oversight is required, and where the ethical boundaries are is important. AI can simplify bias or spread misinformation if you don't question it. This matters because the professionals who can challenge, validate, and apply judgment responsibly will be the ones everyone trusts to make decisions. So remember, integrate AI into your day-to-day -day work, but be critical and be responsible. All right, with that, these were the top five skills. And here's the last truth. Most people will only scratch the surface with AI. And if you actually build just these five skills, just these, you will be way ahead. Okay, now it's your turn. Let me know if there are any other AI skills that one should learn to stay ahead. Let me know your thoughts and comments. With that, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.